G'day guys, welcome to Bonnet Harvest Journeys. We are here in Tasmania to taste and sample some of the finest ingredients this place has to offer. We're here in Jan's Winery, Tasmania to taste some beautiful sparkling wine. It's going to be such an awesome trip. Come join us, it's tasting time. I felt a real pull towards Tasmania for a while now, so I'm really excited to be down here for Bonnet Harvest Journeys. What have you got here? So, um, we have our vintage range here of Jantz Tasmania. Looks stunning, doesn't it? Grown on the, the hilltop looking over Bass Strait. The cold climate produces some of the world's best sparkling wine. I'm going to create a meal to match this gorgeous wine using the best Tassie produce I can find. And no surprises, truffles are first on my list. No smell like a black truffle. I mean, look at that. It's what I call a haul. It's one of the best truffles in the world. They're pungent, they're sweet, they're beautiful, and they are making me so damn hungry. <laughs> truffles and the flavour of a truffle travels best in fat, so, um, you know, uh, truffle oil, I shave them on top of beautiful, you know, soft, delicious scrambled eggs. Um, the trick to a truffle is letting the flavour itself shine matching it and not ruining it, like letting that be the hero. Down here in Tasmania, the water is cold, fresh and pristine, and home to some of the world's best abalone. I had to head out and grab some for myself. Water. We have to get out now, especially after a couple of these. <laughs> Trout has always been one of my favourite ingredients, and it's going to match beautifully with the sparkling wine and other ingredients. Getting our fire started. Getting the coals and embers nice and hot so we can start our cook. I'm going to make a dashi broth, which is like a umami flavoured seaweed and mushroom broth. I'm also going to do a confit abalone. It's going to match amazingly with this wine. Mmm, life's good. <laughs> I'm gonna do some char-grilled rainbow fillets, or some grilled rainbow fillets. I'm then gonna truss them back together with some truffles through the center, a little bit of seasoning, and pan fry them just until they're cooked, but still opaque in the center. We are going all out. Now what I'm doing here is I'm cooking the cabbage in the fire. And what's so good about cabbage is it's got layers. So it's got so many layers that you can char grill and blacken the outside and cook the center. And then all you have to do is take a few layers off and you've got this smoky, delicious and sweet cabbage in the middle. It's so good. I don't want a crispy skin on the outside. I want a tender trout flesh to the center. And then right in the middle where the truffles are, I just want it opaque. I just want those truffles to be touched with a little bit of heat so that it will release their beautiful flavour.
Tasmania is the place of foodie dreams. Truffles, abalone, gorgeous jams, Tasmania sparkling, doesn't get any better. Thanks for watching, do me a favor, subscribe, check out all other videos, and check out bondoharvest.com. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>